involved it involves word problems and a good strategy for solving a particular type of word problem is to make a table now when I show you these tables you're gonna say hey that looks a lot like an array and you're right it does when we're learning about multiplication making a table is very similar to making an array but is great for part a particular type of word problem if you have a word problem that is talking about having let's say three pairs of shorts and two shirts so Sarah bought three shorts and two shirts the question then is how many different shirt and short outfits can Sarah make so if you're talking about outfits you have to combine shorts and shirts in different ways well how many different ways can you combine them in order to do this we are going to look at a four-step process that we've looked at before but in this case it's going to involve making a table in any word problem step one is going to be about understanding the problem what do we know we know that Sarah bought three shorts and two shirts notice I underlined what we know three shorts two shirts that's important Sarah has three shorts and two shirts now what is the question in order to understand what we're supposed to do we have to know what we know and what the question is in this case the question is how many different shirt and short outfits can Sarah make so we want to know how many different outfits can she make now that we understand that's step one we can make a plan now this is where uh, this video is teaching something new this plan is going to involve making a table to organize what I know to find how many outfits she can make now we have a plan now let's learn how to make that table step three is solving the problem using our plan the table is going to look very much like an array notice how it has rows and columns now each row is going to be defined as a shorts either one two or three because Sarah has Sarah bought three pairs of shorts and each column is going to be defined by each shirt that she bought and she bought two shirts so if she bought two shirts then she can wear shirt number one with shorts number one that makes one outfit she can also wear the second shirt with that pair of shorts and that makes a second outfit so there's two outfits in that row and since there are three shorts three rows we can see that there are two four six outfits and when we stop to check which is our step four we ask ourselves does my answer make sense well yes because the table that we just created shows all possible outfits if you make a table like this you are able to see and prove exactly how many outfits you can make with that many shirts and that many shorts so making a table is a very helpful strategy for solving problems that involve combining numbers of things to find out how many different ways they can be combined